Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have an absolutely wonderful video for you today where you are truly going to be learning so much. I'm going to be giving you all of the insights that you need to know of what occurred here on the fake out of the bump and run pattern. This is obviously the pattern that we were looking at in yesterday's video. I'm very much aware of the potential of the fake out which has now occurred causing this large move to the downside. I'm going to go over all of the reasons for this and what we're looking for next in the whole of this week to come. So pay full attention. You really need to listen very closely and just make sure you eat, just listen to it slowly. I'm going to try and approach this in a very professional manner so you can truly understand what's going on here because I know there's going to be a lot of people saying it's because of X, Y, and Z reasons, CPI, news, etc. I'm going to show you for the all of the technical reasons here how we could foresee this coming. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, ladies and gentlemen, and let's get straight into the analysis, picking up where I left off yesterday's video. Obviously, while we we're around here at 22,300, I made it very clear I was only in long positions at that time. Why was I looking only for longs? Because I thought we were going to go higher and higher we went, ladies and gentlemen. And this is very much the key of a trader. Because I know some people have already had the comments of, Daniel, you, you were long yesterday and now we've seen a drop. And that is correct. I was long yesterday. And then we saw the fake out of the bump and run pattern. I have to adjust to the new data that's coming in. And thus, yes, I am now in a short position. And that short position is obviously greatly in profits. I want to show you a few things here of how I come to this conclusion of the drop to come. Let me just remind you of what we were looking at yesterday in this five second clip. One second. We could be looking for the fake out. And this is what we mean by the fake out of the bump and run pattern. E.g. you could rise above this, this trend line. Everybody gets really, really, really bullish, right? Only for it to remain end in a fake out. So what would we be looking to determine? Is this a fake out or is this a real genuine? So as you saw there, we had that trend line marked out and we were ready and waiting for the potential fake out. And I was explaining how can we determine the difference between a legit breakout and a fake out. And it was all about the order flow, right? So when you come over to the order flow, this is extremely bearish order flow. So you break out on declining open interest, declining open interest on the breakout. And then the massive selling imbalance is going into this. I mean, you, you're going to need to come down on a bit of a lower term time frame. But all you had was shorts opening on upon that. OK, you can see you get a little bit of a rise here and then the instant sell back down into the level. So this is really confirming to you at the time. Of course, you have to be quick. You have to be quick as a trader. Yeah, have to be quick and able to adjust. But upon seeing this, you have confirmed a fake out. You have rose above the level. And let me just remind you how many people became bullish upon that. OK, I think you may recognize maybe some of these names. MM Crypto six month breakout attempt. I remember my reply. Yes, exactly as predicted. The breakout longs FOMOing into this. Get ready for the ultimate crash. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. So EG, we're breaking that trend line where I'm ready for the fake out. And what's happening? The majority of the world bullish. What are we looking at here? Bitcoin's pumping. Ethereum's pumping. Bullish, bullish, bullish people. Oh, Bitcoin's breaking a 100 day downtrend. Bullish, bullish, bullish. So you're seeing the whole world bullish. And we got the fake out, right? We got the fake out. We got our move up. We got the fake out of the trend line. And we saw the bearish order flow. And that has led to this decrease in price. So it's like we're saying, the breakout longs are sort of coming in, FOMOing in, get ready for that ultimate crash. How could we be aware of that? Well, being aware of the fake out of the trend line. It's like we were aware of the fake out of the triangle last week, right? <laughs> last week, right? All we, were, all we wanted to see was the triangle fake out. We got the triangle fake out with the rise to the upside and then a crash. Same here. We got the fake out of the trend line everyone's looking at and then a crash to the downside. And I know... Um, a few questions that I can preempt. Some people might be thinking, Daniel, is this is this a large enough move to the upside? Did you not want it to see the monthly? And yes, I would have loved it to have seen the monthly for the fake out. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter about that. The fake out is here present in front of your eyes. OK, it didn't rise to the monthly. It's as simple as that. You have to be trading what's happening on the chart. It's like that. Like I say, lose the bias, lose the emotions, trade exactly what's happening. And I can show you exact reasons now. Please pay close attention. I'm going to show you exact reasons of how I also foresaw this becoming the fake out. And it also stems from exactly what I was showing you yesterday, exactly as I was showing you yesterday, when we actually in this video, we're looking at the ES, right? We were looking at the ES and we were looking at this triangle. And look how this progressed, ladies and gentlemen. OK, there was the triangle that we were looking at. 
we had, uh, this is obviously posted from inside my group, but we had a move to the absolute dollar low of the triangle. And then as you can see here in the next picture, a rise and then the breakout. Okay, so it's like, oh no, <laughs> let me just turn that off a second. Um, so it's like, hey, I need, <laughs> give me the EAP for that triangle. So we saw the triangle, it broke to the upside. So then what are we looking for next? Well, let me show you this on the ES, ladies and gentlemen. Come over to the ES. Here is the triangle that we were looking at on the lower term time frames. Let, again, pay close, close attention to this. We're going to take then, we have seen the breakout of the triangle, yeah? So the exact triangle that we were looking at, we've now seen the breakout to the upside. So we can get our target by going from the low of the triangle to the top of the triangle, okay? And now look at this. Oh, I want to show you one other post from in my group, by the way. Uh, and that was, uh, yeah, coming up to the monthly again. I say, okay, so I'm telling my team, watch for the swing photo pattern, if not up to the CC. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. But the CC, I'm showing my team here, CC on the ES. Be aware of that level of resistance. But let's first take this triangle target. So we take the, tr the length of this triangle and extend it to the breakout, right? And now look at this, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be outstanding. People are going to be saying CPI, CPI, CPI. I'm going to say, say, show me the chart. I will tell you the news. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come up to the five minute. Move over to the target. We wick onto the target of the triangle that we were looking at and trading yesterday. That target is hit perfectly. And then you get a large decrease, a very large decrease in price. So how did I know Bitcoin then was going to fake out the triangle? Because we are rejecting the key level of resistance on the Bitcoin chart, right? So I'll just show you this. Also level of confluence. I'm just going to remove everything temporarily to just show you. Fibonacci from the high, overall high to the low. Look at that. Look at that perfection. That is right into the top of the CC. What did I tell my team? Be aware of the top of the CC here on the Bitcoin chart after this breakout to the upside of the triangle. CC, you can see I'm ready and waiting on the ES. We hit the top of the CC on the ES. And again, what was our level of confluence there? It was the absolute perfect target being hit of the triangle we were looking at. So this this is what I'm talking about. We need to react to the charts upon seeing this and then the large move to the downside on the ES. What's going to happen on Bitcoin? What is going to happen on Bitcoin if the ES is getting a large move to the downside? Of course, it's going to be a large move to the downside on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is following the ES. I know that some people are going to be in like disbelief and, and think that oh, this is impossible, but I've, I've laid it all out for you. I've laid it, I've laid it out for you. Um, so like I was saying, yeah, warning of the bump and run to fake out. Um, you know, I had some people comment, like, like you said, like a lot of people are very confused because, you know, I'm just going to respond to some of this. Like you said something else yesterday. And obviously, I'm talking about this. He said, you said something else yesterday. I said yesterday, I said I was only in longs looking for higher. We went higher on both the ES and Bitcoin after that, right? We hit the CC resistance on the ES and the triangle target and Bitcoin done a fake out of the trend line. My trades and bias, which was long yesterday, I, I admit I was long yesterday. I was only in longs. I was in no shorts. I was looking for higher. We got higher. And then upon seeing the new data, the targets, the rejections on the chart, I opened the short trade. You have to truly understand why would I not open the short? Just because yesterday I said I was long and looking for higher. We got higher. We got the rejection I was looking for. Why would I not take that short? If you truly understand how we trade, you know I'm taking that short position. It's like Crypto Hank here says, people really need to watch and pay attention to what Daniel says and listen very, very closely. Watch it multiple times if necessary. The dude is on his game right now. <laughs> it happened exactly how Daniel said. He was long until data shows otherwise. He said, watch for the fake out. Happened exactly as predicted. Some people need to listen to more than 10 seconds. What makes you think yesterday's bias plan has to be the same as today? Things change. We hit resistance. New day to new plan. You know, some people get it. The people that are in the group, I know these people are champions, like studying along with me. Of course, they understand. I don't know. I'm not trying to, you know, bash on people, but you, I know some people are really confused. How can you be short when you were long yesterday? You know, I've, I've had a lot of the comments after after, after my after my tweet of this saying, oh, how are you expecting an ultimate crash? Like, you know, things change. Yesterday I was long and in only I was only in longs and looking for higher. We got higher. We got the fake out. I'm going to take that short. I saw everything line up. I saw it line up. The stars aligned on the ES. The stars aligned on Bitcoin. You've got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take that position. 
I'm going to take that position. I was aware of the fake out yesterday. We got the fake out. I'm taking that short. So I've explained, hopefully, in enough detail here why we rejected from where we did. Again, real big, massive confluence on the ES. And please, I've explained this so many times. The ES for me is a massive factor of trading Bitcoin right now. The correlation is huge. I know some people are going to say it's the news. It's the news. I've shown you the real technical reasons of how I foresaw that being the exact high on the ES. It was the exact high. ES crashed and Bitcoin followed. It's as simple as that. So now what are we looking at next? Okay, well, really simply, we have this local range where we are coming down to the lows of this year. So this is not really a place that I'm going to be bearish. Okay, I'm not going to really be that bearish here because we are at, uh, at the low of this mini, mini type of range. You know, this was a range that I was kind of pulling out yesterday. So we are right at like around this value area low of the range. So I'm not going to be bearish down here. If we lose this value area low, then yeah, we can actually look to fill in a lot of this move to the downside and come that back down to around 19,700. But for now, we are at support. Okay. Again, it's just like here. Yesterday, you have to react to what's happening. If you lose support and flip it into resistance, we can look for a further continuation to the downside. But for now, I'm saying level to level trading. Like yesterday, if we had flipped the, the 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 trend line into support we would have looked for the monthly but we did not flip it into support we rejected we moved down and it's the same here at support currently we are bouncing at support if we lose this and reject it and flip it into resistance we look down towards 19700 or, or 20000 dollars is an acceptable region like 20900 of course then we have the daily and then above us now we have the poc which is 216614, and then moving up to the, the new daily. This is a new daily that's formed. Okay, and this is the exact way that I was approaching this yesterday. You can see here we had the local five minute time, time frame. This is the higher term time frame. Okay, you can kind of see how it removes, moves down, moves down. We got the back test of the value area high. Obviously, then back test of that value area high brought us to the fake out of the triangle and from that fake out of the triangle where's it brought us to it's brought us down to the value area low so overall it has been very 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 technical i know there's going to be confusion and i i know there's going to be a lot of people that have been wrecked and for the people that have been wrecked i i, I know it for sure there will be people that have lost a lot of money on this move down and i don't want to be the guy that says hey look at me i made money on this move down like no i'm not really trying to do that at all i know for sure people will have got wrecked because this was a relatively hard trade, right? This was a relatively hard trade. You had to be very much aware of the fake out, to be very much aware of what's happening on the ES. You have to be very much aware and understanding of order flow as it's coming in live in the time, not hesitating. Again, if you hesitate, you miss the move. So I know people will have lost money on this. And for them, I can only say, hey, it's part of the game. You're not going to win every trade you take. You're going to take some losses. I really hope you had some risk management in place. I hope you had a stop loss. Okay. And I hope now you can start to educate yourself. I've given you everything you need to know upon the reasons. You can now, instead of, you know, being angry or upset or frustrated about the move down, you can actually use this video as some sort of positivity and say, hey, I got, you know, maybe you got wrecked on that move. But instead of being depressed about something that's occurred, you cannot change anything now. What's happens, happens. Yeah, you can only look towards the future. You can't affect the past. The past is the past. So look at the future and say, hey, this went wrong. I can learn from this and make sure it doesn't happen again, right? So that's what you need to do. I've given you everything you need to know. You can learn from this and now you can make sure it doesn't happen again. Hopefully um, it doesn't happen again. But again, it is a game of probabilities. Anything can happen at the end of the day, but there are things and high probabilities and things we look towards. ES, fake outs, you know, random, you know, massive moon boys getting ultra bullish upon seeing the breakout. You know, you kind of have to kind of be aware of this is a high probability of a fake out when that starts to occur. Again, it's like the triangle. Everyone was aware of it. Meh. You've got to be uh, kind of aware of the uh, opposite scenario, right? And it's the same as the triangle. Everybody started getting ultra bullish. Well, you kind of got to be aware. Yes, hitting resistance, pulling back, fake out, bam, like it's, it's what's happened. So again, this video was maybe just for, for some people, maybe even therapeutic. Sometimes they just need to hear a voice of reason of somebody that knows what they're doing. I'm not here to do anything else other than show you what's happened, talk you through how I'm trading this and the next levels to be aware of. Again, we do have a large gap here of very low support. So this for me is a very important zone. Again, you can kind of see failed auctions. So like you kind of see a failed auction here, you can always get these type of failed auctions. But again, if you lose the level and reclaim it, then that's a failed auction, right? That's another theory that you can learn in trading. But 
yeah, for me, I'd be looking for the failed auction here. Uh, if you do flip it into resistance, then yeah, I do foresee another heavy move to the downside. But for now, we're at support. Trade this local range that I foresaw yesterday. Uh, if we lose the range low, then yeah, we can look towards 19700 or the failed auction. Otherwise, we can look for support to be found here. POC, very key level. And otherwise, back up to the daily. And if we reclaim that up to the monthly. So it's not all doom and gloom. It's not game over. Yes, this was a large, quick move to the downside. But very technical. If you had the skills, you could have traded and made money on this. For me, yes, this is definitely a take profit one. I don't wouldn't close my whole short, but this is a take profit one off of this because for me, this is like a swing fire pattern of the low currently at value area low. But and of course, if you want to see more, we've got chartchampions.com right now. Actually, Igor's in a live stream. You wanted the live trading streams while well, Igor is in his live trading stream right now. As you can see, currently actually setting up another trade. <laughs> uh, the guy's on fire. Um, so yeah, you wanted live trading. We've brought new live trading streams. This is obviously on the stock market, on the Forex market. We've got the new speed run modules, which is the cut down versions, five, 10 minute versions of the one to two hour long videos that we have. You wanted the coaches only read only channel. You got the coaches only read only channels, the questions channels directly to the coaches. I mean, yeah, all of the educational material that you could ever want. So if you want to learn the theory behind our trades, you can come over and get that. If you want to get over on the live action with us, and obviously you can get over on that with these li new live trading streams that we've introduced as well. So everything that you could ever want and more right now over on chartchampions.com. So if you want to do that, come over and say hello. Then you get access to the website and the Discord. So I'm just going to wrap it up with that. And I suppose I'll end with the...